Christians, ex Christian extremists insist homosexuality is bigger sin than slavery. During his Breaking News Bible Study program, Scott Lively, who has been recognized by the Southern Poverty Law Center as forming an anti-gay hate group, was speaking to his co-host, Pastor Richard May, when May stated that slavery was, quote, unfortunate, but plenty of other things were worse. There is perspective in all this, May said. From a biblical point of view, there are things much worse. Now, I'm going to hit a nerve with this one. Which is worse, slavery or homosexuality? Homosexuality, by far, Lively replied. By far, May agreed. And I think it's something we need to herald. I mean, come on, guys. Our priorities are all mixed up. End, end quote. Okay, okay, hear me out here. Um, they're, they are, they're right. They're, <laughs> right. They're, they're correct. For, I mean, first of all, according to Christianity, it's not like they're saying which one is the bigger sin, slavery or homosexuality. Slavery isn't even a sin. Right. Talking about, one of them is not even a sin in Christianity. So, yeah, of course. In the Old Testament, what's even worse than slavery is wearing mixed fabrics, eating shellfish, boiling a kid in its mother's milk, you know, not resting on the sh Sabbath. I mean, you could, the list is so long. You right. know, slavery doesn't even make the top 20. Of even something that's mildly, meh. neither does rape. No, I mean no one even cares about that. That's not even, you know, that doesn't even have a word for it. That's just he took her. Yeah, there's no, there's no word for rape because consent was never an issue in biblical morality, right? It's it, when it comes to sexual immorta uh, immorality, it was always about, hey, this was my property and you broke it. And now you need to pay up, right? Mm -hmm. it, it was never the woman's consent was never a, a, a question. Objects, that, objects don't have a say. Objects don't have a say. Right. Yeah. 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 Properties don't get to make decisions, right? Right. So it's between the father and the husband, or the two kings, the two tribes, or whatever. But it doesn't have anything to do with her. Yeah, Smithy is point, Smithy is phrasing it right. So like, whoa, whoa, he's saying, whoa, 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 you can't fucking another man's woman without his consent. <laughs> exactly. Right. Yeah, I mean, yeah, basically when uh, the whole point of marriage was a father selling his property to the husband, right? To the husband to be. Uh, Daniel is saying the Old Testament sets out rules for slavery, although they can call them servants, of course. Yeah, servants is the new tr the translation for our modern years, so that we don't get offended. But uh, they are slaves. But uh, Tyler saying, according to the Bible, they're right. Proof that oh yeah, Tyler saying the same thing. Proof that it's an abhorrent book that should never be used to establish morality. Exactly. Vladimir is saying, considering the Bible actually saying slavery is perfectly fine, even providing instructions on how to do it. He's technically correct. I mean, it's not just providing instructions on how to do it. It also provides instructions on how to beat your slave in the yes. Bible, right? So basically, the, if you want to beat your slave, um, you just have to make sure that they don't die from the beating, right? Um, and also, it provides instruction to the slaves as well to make sure that they obey their masters. It also provides instruction to Jews to not take Jews as their slaves. Make sure that you take non-Jews as slaves, right? From the heathens around you, yeah. Yeah, exactly. But, yeah, so actually, we they're, they're, I mean, if they wanted to be true Christians, this is, like, true to Christianity, they're not even being extreme enough. They're saying which one is the bigger sin. They're kind of suggesting that they're both sins. So, like, people are, like, shocked, like, oh, my God, how could they say homosexuality is a bigger sin? No, they're, you should, yeah, this is not even as extreme as Christianity what it actually says. Anyway, uh, do you guys want to, by the way, are these people, who are these people? Are they a big deal? Um, This one guy, Scott Lively, seems to have gotten a lot of attention in the past. So, he. The Uganda thing? 
Yeah, he did a lot of anti-homosexual um, activism in Uganda. And um, my understanding is that in Uganda, um, that's currently punishable by death. Um, yeah, let me uh, do a little further research. He, but he's he's on a the lot one, of hate watch He's list. the one behind the Kill the Gays bill of 2014 in Uganda. Oh, these people exported their anti their homophobia to, from United States to Uganda, and they respond. This, you know, and they managed to actually get a bill passed in Uganda that is called "Kill the Gay Bill." Is that what it's called? Mm-hmm. That's not yep. officially the name, <laughs> like, is it? That's, <laughs> that's the name I people gave it. <laughs> Imagine if that was officially their name of the bill. The Uganda t- Anti Homosexuality Act of 2014. Jesus. I think we might have discussed this before, like right. months ago, but um, there's a film that was made in 2013 about this. It's called God Loves Uganda. It's a documentary film, and it discusses the role of American evangelicals um, and evangelical extremists, really, in Uganda. Um, at, this was when they had the first bill to make uh homosexuality punishable um, by death because they had one then it went away then it came back so it's Mm. gone through several machinations but or maybe it didn't pass the first time I'm I I don't quite remember but in this film God Loves Uganda which I think you can just even get maybe even on YouTube I, I don't know I didn't pay for it I saw it somewhere a while ago um, it was quite an interesting film, and it talks about this role of these um, evangelicals and th- uh, how they exported the worst sin of all, being homosexuality, to this whole population in Uganda. And, like, that is the big focus of their entire mission. Mm. So yeah, he's done enough. a lot of um, – so he's an evangelical, so he's teamed up with a lot of evangelicals in Latvia and Russia to also push um, anti-gay um, legislation. He also authored a book called uh, – he co-authored a book called The Pink Swastika in which he uh, – they state in the preface that homosexuals are the true inventor, inventors of Nazism and the guiding force behind World War II atrocities. What the hell? Uh, yeah, that's why the Nazis actually killed gay people. These people are. Yeah, right. Yeah. Um, so these basically, so these people are not just like your two random you um, no. Christian bloggers. These are like people, big deal people behind some serious policies that have probably caused actual people's lives, right? Yes. Because of the because of the things that they push. All right. News. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why. What has what's holding you back? Okay? If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like, bell, <laughs> and also if you if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not Telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think is no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well. And share, share our videos because... You know, we do get demonetized, that's an obvious, on every one of our videos, so F that, but we don't care about that anymore. <laughs> but we also get deprioritized, and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritized, what does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right, and all that, you know, on, the, on people's homepages, and that's how channels grow. Unfortunately, we can't grow, so we need you guys to share our videos.